Welcome to our video review of the iSpy Air Assessment Wizard. The tool is designed to analyze a source database before a migration to a new database management system. It provides a comprehensive analysis of the objects selected in the source database, estimates the expected efficiency of automated conversion with iSpire Toolkit and the overall effort needed to convert those objects. In addition, the software demonstrates an approximate estimation of iSpire migration service. So, in just three minutes I will walk you through how to use the assessment wizard, as well as analyze the key findings and important insights from the report. Run the tool and navigate through all the pages of the assessment wizard. First, I need to provide the main project directory. Next, on the source page I need to select an ODBC connection to the Oracle database and provide a username and password. Following that, on the target page I select PostgreSQL as a target database from the list. Further, on the objects page I select all the objects I need to assess. I select all the objects by clicking the add all button. Then I need to specify the amount of data. I can do it manually or choose the option to automatically collect data size information. Note that the second option takes longer than the first one. On the summary page I review the selected settings and click the execute button to start the assessment process. During the execution stage, the tool connects to the source database to get information about the selected objects, analyzes the retrieved data, and generates the assessment report. The assessment is complete, and now I can view the generated report by clicking the Open Report File button. The iSpire Assessment Wizard report provides comprehensive data on the Oracle to PostgreSQL database migration project. This report helps iSpire experts understand the complexity and scope of the migration process. The Summary Information section gives us an overview of the objects in the source database. We can see quantitative data such as the number of objects and statements that are used in each object type. The complexity level information provides a breakdown of the complexity levels of different object types. We have low, medium, high, and manual complexity categories. This information helps us assess the level of effort required for the migration. I can open a detailed report on each object type in the first two tables. Let's open such a report on packages. I can see information about each package and its complexity. If an object has a manual complexity level, I can expand it to view the number of object statements that require manual corrections. Let's return to the main page of the report. The iSpire Toolkit Efficiency Assumption section is the most important part of the report. It demonstrates the potential effectiveness of the automated migration with iSpire Toolkit, as well as the number of statements that can be automatically converted by the iSpire software. In my case, it estimates that 90% of the source code can be converted automatically, while the remaining 10% may require manual corrections or tool customizations. Moreover, in this section I can find the recommended number of customizations to increase the automatic conversion rate, as well as the automatic conversion rate that can be achieved once the tool customizations are implemented. Now we come to the final migration services proposal section. The report provides an approximate estimate of the complexity level for each schema. It includes information such as the number of lines of code and measured lines of code. In addition, based on the assessment results, the report presents a proposal for Oracle to PostgreSQL migration services, indicating the approximate duration and complexity of the migration for each schema. iSpire Assessment Wizard is a valuable guide for planning and implementing your Oracle to PostgreSQL migration project. Now it's your turn to give it a try. For more detailed analysis and personalized migration services, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.